welcome back to my channel. I am doing a quick video, hopefully, of how to sanitize your denture and my steps of putting them in my face. So I have my camera a really weird way so you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. I have a washcloth, so I use everything over this. And the reason why is because I don't want to drop my dentures in the sink because water or not, you can still break them. So I do everything over here. So in my cup is my warm water with my denture and my solution. I use polydent smokers. This shit is absolutely incredible. Um, and what everybody, you know, says, even if it says whitening on things, no matter what you use, it means it's white. It's lifting up the stains and making them to the whiter shade that you picked when you got your dentures. It does not make the original plastic denture teeth whiter than what you chose. But this lift stains amazingly by the way guys so if you do want to get it it's polydent smokers and it's awesome so what i do is i let this sit and soak for about 20 minutes to half an hour sometimes longer um if you do have metal part dentures do do not in any way leave it longer than what it says it can tarnish so what i do is i use my soft bristle brush and it even says that and i dip it in here it even says to scrub it after it's done soaking. It gets in between the teeth. It gets in, in between everything. It doesn't just sit. So you're just spreading around the solution. See? Bubbles. I like my shit clean. So you want to clean it nice and well. Get in between the frenulum part. Get on top. See, when I hold my denture, I hold it like this. Or I put my two fingers in here. And it prevents it from falling. So you scrub really well, get the bubbles going nice and fresh, so fresh and so clean. And then you want to get inside here. I have a soft reline inside mine, so you want to make sure that it's like super clean. Like super, super clean. It kills all the bacteria because it's a soft reline, and well, bacteria can get in anything. So I make sure it is nice and clean, and that's what you want to do. So what I do is I rinse it off. Give me one second. Hey, Steven, can you get me a couple of Q-tips, please? Having my son get Q-tips so I can spread my adhesive. Um, so what you do is you take paper towel and you very carefully get in a trough, get in all the areas, make sure your teeth are nice and dry. Thank you, Steven. You're welcome. And you clean it really well. Well, dry it. It's already clean. So, that's my denture. And that's what it looks inside. There's so much shrinkage, guys. Like, mine's way smaller than this. And I used two reline kits. Like, I, since I had a massive infection, my whole face was swollen. So, yeah. It was a big pain in the ass. But these are what my teeth look like. I'm going to try to not to drop it. And I'm trying to get it to actually, you guys can see it well, but apparently not. Anyway, so what I do is I fold this, put my denture right on top of it. Put the solution to the side because I'm done using that and I will clean that out later. So we all know I love my Fix-It and Ultramax. We will be using that today and I'll be using this. Fix-It and Ultra Hold. Now, I do have both Fix-It and Poly Grip and Fix-It and Ultra Hold, but once you have a lot of shrinkage, um, the Poly Grip does not hold as well as the Fix-It and um, Extra Hold. It just doesn't. Um, this will be going into my giveaway soon, just so you know. Um, but it's got with scope in it, the powder, which is actually pretty cool. So what I do is, um, since this doesn't have the precision tip, you can actually just spread it out and you can make it smaller. See how that's smaller? Go into here, that's a smaller crack. And see how you can actually make it smaller yourself. It's just a big pain in the ass. And I just do this. But I spread it around. Because now, you guys, if you use adhesive, especially this kind of adhesive that's like thicker, um, you want to spread it around. Because if, say you have, and the reason why I'm showing you is because say this is whatever this and this has got more in it. So it's going to be, if you put it in, it's going to be all, you know, lopsided. You don't want lopsided. Lopsided sucks. 
So what I'm doing is taking off some of the cotton off of this because no need for that much cotton. It will actually come out. And you want to shrink this down and do that. Almost like a popsicle stick. But now I remind you guys, I can't really see that well because the angle of this camera is ridiculous. But you want to spread it around. You want to get it wherever you want to get it. Whatever your problem areas are. I know some people have a problem with their back palette. So, you know, you could put it wherever. That's what I like about spreading it around is because you can focus on your main problem areas. Get in the little spots. Like, see, I have a dip in here, which you probably wouldn't be able to see. But it's like here and then it dips in um, because of my jaw healing. So I make sure I put some in there. Put it all around. Make sure I get my palette well. Because sometimes my palette is not my friend. Do not put it so close. Like, see, I left a section. Because I'm spreading around, I can get close to it. But if you do not spread around, do not go past right here. Because once you press down, it will ooze everywhere. And then you'll start eating your adhesive. And that sucks. That's a bad day. So, we take this. And you want to be careful with this because this, like, it explodes. So you just want to try to gently like don't squeeze the bottle because you'll have a cloud of adhesive and you do that and you want to shake it you want to get everywhere and then you want to shake the excess off you have to get the excess off guys don't just stick it in your mouth so you want to make sure you're tapping and you're getting all the excess so this is what it looks like. I have my spread around adhesive and this. And this gives me an even bite. It gives me a tighter hold and security because too much adhesive, especially in one spot, will make that side drop and it'll actually become looser. So too much adhesive is not good for you. You want to spread it around and do whatever you can to it. So I make an even thing. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move the camera so you can actually see me because I have it facing down. It's me. Okay. So you put it in your mouth and because I have weird big lips, um, I have to lift my lip up. Okay. You want to bite and find your spot. <laughs> I don't have a back here, so I have to actually hold it myself. Okay. Have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe.